Okay, we're going to have a quick tutorial on using the League Manager software within your WordPress website. Now, after you log into WordPress, on the left-hand side, you will see an area with um, a trophy cup called League. And there'll be a flyout menu there, or you can just click League uh, to expand that menu. Once you click it, you've got um, Overview, which is where you're going to spend most of your time. You've got Settings, and all Settings really does is change the colors, uh, which is the look and feel. You know, it doesn't really alter the functionality, so we're not really going to spend any time there. Uh, the Import and Export areas, uh, which we'll mention briefly, but again, we're, we won't spend really any time there. And the documentation, which is sparse and often cryptic if you're not technical, hence the, the reason for this video. So we're going to go to Overview, which is uh, where we want to be. And the overview um, gives us um, our leagues. And so you can run multiple leagues in League Manager. You may just have one league in there. Uh, but in our case, we have three because we have some test leagues here that we want to be able to uh, play around with. And as you can see, one of the leagues, um, Daniel Test League, uh, we have already created some data within, and it's producing statistics. It's telling me that, you know, we've done three seasons, we have five teams within the league, and we've played a total of 75 matches so far. So I'm going to click on that to kind of show you what we're doing. When I click on Daniel Test League, uh, you'll see a lot of data. You won't see this amount of data when you first start, start off with a fresh league. So let me go ahead and go back. We'll click Overview again, which is how you're going to keep getting back to where you want to go. Uh, and we'll click a league that hasn't really been touched. Um, the, well, this one here is called Test League. And as you can see, there's no data in here. And it says um, at the top you need to add at least one season. Well, this is laid out fairly logically. So on the left, you'll have Preferences and then seasons. You want to configure your preferences, add some seasons um, so that your teams can actually do something, add at least one team, and maybe you're, you don't have teams per se in your league. Maybe, you, maybe your league is made up of individual players, uh, and that's fine too. You can just, uh, instead of teams, you can make them the names of human beings. And then you would add matches, which obviously are the tournaments or the uh, the contests or the the team the um, the plays between teams. So if we go to preferences briefly, what we're going to see is a choice of sports. So in this case, we've selected tennis, and we'll see points rules. In this case, we've selected tennis again, and you will choose what you want for your sports. Everything else we've kind of left at default, but you can play with this based on any rules that your particular league has. Now I want to draw your attention because navigation here can get a little bit funky if you don't notice this feature to what we call breadcrumbs up here in the the, the right hand side and breadcrumbs are um, these areas that tell us where we are so we're at league manager and we've clicked on um, the test league and we're now in league preferences so if I want to go back I could go ahead and click overview and start all over again or I could just go back one by clicking test league just follow the breadcrumb backwards and so clicking test league takes me back to these four tabs here which are important uh, namely preferences seasons add team and matches and so I would fill out my preferences and then I would create my seasons usually the seasons are going to be a year the most common is a four-digit year and of course explains that here so you might want to start with 2012 etc the number of days in the match and then you probably would not want to check this box um, because this basically says hey if there are any existing teams at the time you do this uh, we're going to ignore them you may want access to those teams it's up to you so um, the idea is to create some teams uh, within your league um, or rather create some seasons within your league, add some teams, which again can be individuals if you don't actually have teams, or they can be red team, blue team, or whatever you want to do, uh, and then add some matches. We're going to go back um, to the league manager. I could click overview again, it doesn't matter, or I could use those breadcrumbs, and we're going to select the Daniel Test League, which is the one we've actually populated, so you can kind of see what we've done. We have added some seasons. We added uh, 2012 and 2010 and 2011, and those will appear on the drop down here. And if you want to navigate between them, you can simply click on the, this is on the upper right, you can simply click on the season that you want to click on and click show. And it'll show the, um, the teams and the matches for that particular season. In this case, we're viewing 2012. 
Um, and then we've added, um, the teams that we've added actually are just persons. And so we've called them Andy Roddick and Maria Sharapova. These are tennis players. Uh, we're not saying that they're red team, blue team, and they're made up of a roster of different people, et cetera. And then we have the matches that they've played. Now, if I were to go and add another season, I could do that. I could click seasons, and then I could um, add, say, season 2009 here and say that it has 150 match days within it and click add season and it would give me yet another season we'll go back to Daniel's test league using our navigation and this time we could add a team and the team uh, again might be a person's name so it might be in this case uh, Chuck Mangione he's not a tennis player but uh, it's you know it's all in fun right and then you can choose a logo um, for our guy so maybe we want to choose um, this logo from our hard drive and we'll upload that and then Chuck might have his own website um, Chuck Mangione com that'd be the website for that team or if it's an individual again it might be that individual's website if you want it. that individual may or may not have a coach it's obviously not required uh, but maybe the the coach in this case is Mick Fleetwood again we're not choosing sports figures and the idea is to just have us pay attention to the the purpose of putting in the name and then the stadium uh, where these people where this team is is based and so it might be Wembley Stadium and we can put that in there whatever we'd like and then whether or not it's a home team and if it was the home team we would check the box and so now we can add that team and we've got yet another team here added uh, to our particular league and so we can add as many teams or as many individuals to the league by using the team function as we want and now we can add matches um, so we're going to go ahead and click add match or add matches and we have to uh, give you know a date to the match so we're going to say this is the 10th of uh, July uh, in 2009 and this will be which match day of the the season is it we'll say that's the first match day of the season and uh, then we can go ahead and fill out the basic data who is playing whom in this match and so maybe it's Andy Roddick versus uh, Felicia Feliciano Lopez maybe then we have uh, Maria versus Taylor and uh, Tommy versus Andy and of course it's filling in the stadiums we can do the start times you know maybe it's uh, 930 for this one uh, if they have partners then you can fill those partners out you know maybe it's a doubles match etc so uh, you might add um, well we wouldn't have Andy playing along with Andy unless he had you know four hands but you get the point uh, and so we begin to fill it out that way. I'm not going to go all the way through filling out all of these matches for you uh, because I just want to demonstrate that once uh, you've gone, you scroll down to the bottom and save, and once you've saved the matches, what happens is it, it adds them to your match plan here, which is where you would fill in the actual scores. Um, so once the matches are in here, you're able to add this data here, such as the scores uh, and the sets. And once you add the scores and the sets, uh, again, you can scroll down to the bottom and there's an update results or a save button basically uh, and that data is now in your system. Alright, so what happens once you've gotten some your preferences set, your seasons in there, some teams or individuals in there, and then some matches? Where does this stuff go? Uh, well, the answer is it, it shows up on the front of your website. So we're going to go ahead and view the front of this website just as an example and we've got uh, my particular test data here on a drop down you might have it under a league stats drop down showing uh, these things but I've got a copy of that stuff here so on my league stats I've got uh, the teams their standings uh, the matches they're playing and then a cross table so let's just do them in that order we'll go ahead and click teams and that gives me uh, the the particular teams we have and and some information and statistics about them and basic how many wins they've had for instance how many ties how many losses that's what WTL is it's wins ties and losses and then uh, the website for those teams who their coach is it's just basic team information and it might be individuals again as it is in this case um, and so that's a page that and that's live that page is updated as you update the back end of your website um, and then standings 
and of course we know that that's these guys in relation to each other and so it'll show how many games they've played and then again wins times and wins ties and losses and some more statistics as well as their position which is the key thing what is their position in relation uh, to the other people and so on uh, so and then uh, we can click on our drop down and select matches and matches will show those same matches that we scheduled and of course we can select now which match day of the season that we want or we can narrow it down by team or in this case team you know if we're using individuals instead of teams to show only that data but this is kind of just showing the overall data so it scrolls quite a long ways uh, it's a, a bit long this page and of course it's showing scores for matches that have been played um, and then lastly I can click the drop down and select cross table you do that uh, select cross table and now I'm getting uh, this table of data that shows um, again the information in relation to each other and this is going to be different in its implications based on which support you have and so on so going back um, to our website there's just a couple of other um, features we want to mention on the back end which is the import and the export feature and the import feature is basically based on importing a tab delimited file well what a tab delimited file is it's similar to a, a comma delimited file except it's delimited by tabs instead of commas most spreadsheet software does not make uh, tab delimited files. It'll make CSVs or comma delimited files and so if you're in Excel or you're in Google Docs or you're in LibreOffice you can do a save as and CSV or comma delimited will be one of the options and so if you were going to do that instead of a tab you would get rid of that tab and, and put a comma instead and that would tell the system that you know you're going to upload a comma delimited file but what kind of files might you upload well there's really only a couple of types of files and that's either teams or matches you wouldn't really do this if you only had a few teams in your league it just wouldn't make sense if you had dozens and dozens of teams you needed to add if you had a you know 200 teams you wanted to add to your league all at once then instead of inputting them manually the way we showed you you could upload but if you've got five or six teams heck just enter them manually it's not worth your time to go through doing an import uh, matches on the other hand if your teams play you know dozens of matches in a season and you don't want to upload the data as they happen but you want to upload them all at once or you have past data you have matches and all kinds of data from previous years and you want that stuff to be displayed on your website well then you might upload a spreadsheet uh, of matches in a comma delimited format and there is software that will convert that to tab delimited or 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 um, will save it as a tab delimited but usually it's going to be comma delimited now in the same way you have an export feature and the export feature will basically spit out a spreadsheet uh, and so it's the same thing you can you can spit out a, a CSV of teams and matches and a CSV file is just a text file where the data is all separated uh, by commas in this case it's going to spit out a tab based file which is even uh, less usable <laughs> in many ways but the nice thing is that most spreadsheet software will recognize a tab delimited file and let you import it into it so Excel LibreOffice which I use or Google Docs will recognize that and then you can import it and um, and so on uh, so um, that's a basic overview of League Manager now the one other thing we want to do is just go ahead and mention show you an example of the two spreadsheets just in case you really do uh, insist on uh, doing that much data and uploading it all this is an example of the the team import spreadsheet and there's quite a bit of data in here um, so you you have to have it in this format and we got this quite simply um, by uh, exporting uh, from the system and then making sure that the the spreadsheet we uploaded it and got it in the right format and that everything all the data is showing up you know we don't have scores being converted to dates or anything like that that it all looks like what it looks like um, so so this is an example of the uh, this is a Google Doc we're using and if I wanted to I could do a file and download as and, and get a comma delimited file out of this and the nice thing is and uh, I could then import that into the system by telling a telling the system it's a comma delimited file and not a tab delimited file 
And in the same way, if um, I had a whole bunch of matches, which is more likely than teams, uh, then, you know, there's a spreadsheet that I would use for that. And this is uh, quite a, uh, not quite an extensive spreadsheet, but it's an extensive amount of data that I might upload. When, and it's in a certain format. And again, you want to export that as either a tab delimited or a comma delimited file and then tell the system what it is when you import. Again, the majority of this data, you're going to be just entering in through the overview section and choosing your particular league and then going from there, working on that particular league and staying within the league manager using those breadcrumbs. It's a fairly simple way to update your data, and if you like the output, um, well, you're kind of done at that point. All right, this has been a quick overview of the league manager uh, to software within WordPress, and we hope you find this useful.